Uh, have you ever wondered how digital asset investment products are performing in the market? Well, Quenchier's latest report has some interesting insights to share, but before we dive into it with the details, let me ask you this. Have you ever heard of a week where outflows from digital asset investment products hit a record high? In, in the past four weeks, these investment products have experienced consecutive outflows, totaling a staggering $251 million. And if that wasn't enough, the previous week alone saw an outflow of $156 million. It seemed like investors were losing faith. However, amidst all the gloom, one cryptocurrency stood out from the crowd, Ethereum. Breaking its seven-week streak of outflows, Ethereum witnessed inflows amounting to 30 million, a glimmer of hope for the crypto world. Now let's talk about exchange-traded funds, or ETFs, which faced substantial outflows last week. The newly issued ETFs in the United States witnessed outflows reaching $156 million. Surprisingly, it tells seems that the recent 10% drop in prices triggered automatic sell orders. These ETFs were originally purchased at an average price of $62,200 per Bitcoin, uh, but it's not just the U.S. experiencing outflows. In fact, other regions also witnessed significant outflows. Canada, Switzerland, and Germany reported outflows of $9.6 million, $9.8 million, and $7.3 million, respectively. Outflows were becoming a global phenomenon. This uh, Grayscale Investments LLC, a major player in the digital asset investment space, reported outflows of $277 million. Other notable providers such as Fidelity ETS USA and ARC21 Shares USA also faced outflows of $131 million and $84 million, respectively. However, other providers whose names were not disclosed surprisingly reported significant inflows of $398 million. Uh, but amidst all these outflows, there was a glimmer of hope. The successful launch of spot-based Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs in Hong Kong attracted inflows of $307 million in the first week of trading. It was a breath of fresh air in an otherwise challenging period. Uh, to put things into perspective, Bitcoin bore the brunt of the outflows with $284 million, leaving its ecosystem. However, thanks to Ethereum's performance, uh, we saw some relief with 30 uh, the million uh, flowing back in. It finally broke its seven-week streak of outflows. So interestingly, other altcoins like Avalanche, Cardano, and Polkadot also managed to secure attracting investments during this turbulent time. It seems that despite the challenges, investors were actively seeking opportunities as beyond the traditional cryptocurrencies. And it's made not a lot of it, which is now to get Martin and Fairmont. And in shawling all that, John, John themselves made Martin want to just tell you what they do is prepared to worldwide and what they do. And then perspective that said, thanks for reading, watching. And until next time. And then note what we were able to do is we were moving into a very positive simulating uh, positive seer.